Hey what's up guys welcome to the next one of my videos in this video today uh, we'll be going over the highly requested Jujutsu Kaisen ultimate add-on for Jujutsu Crack. Just a couple reminders before we get into this video the mod itself Jujutsu Crack covers spoilers for the manga so if you don't want to be spoiled for the manga and your anime only then I should just click it off now. And uh, another thing, the links to the creators will be in the description below. And remember, Jutsu Kaisen Ultimate is an add-on. You need Jutsu Craft, the base mod, to uh, have the add-on work in the first place. Now, this video is going to be slightly different compared to my other videos, like my usual Jutsu Kaisen GT showcase videos, with the fact that I don't have a script for this video. This video is off script. I'm just doing it off the top. Um, it's going to be a bit different because... I'm not too familiar with Jutsu Kaisen Ultimate. Admittedly, I haven't used it much myself. So a lot of the things you guys will be seeing for the first time, I will as well. So if any individual out there in the comments or anything wants to help point out some things I could discuss in my next Jutsu Kaisen Ultimate video or some corrections, leave it in the comments below. And if you see a comment like that, I'll put, uh, like it so it goes to the top so I can see it myself. So if anybody wants to uh you know reach out to me give me some tips for jutsu kaisen ultimate i'm all ears those of you who know my discord slide me a dm say like hey uh these are some things you can showcase in your next video and uh that'll be uh great so as i've been uh saying previously this is going to be one video of many because again jutsu kaisen ultimate i think it's the biggest add-on and eh, might be i don't know i'm not too familiar with too many add-ons i know that there's like jutsu kaisen, jutsu kaisen finality or something like that there's a bunch of other add-ons, so I don't know if it's the biggest, but it's the biggest I've covered. That I can guarantee you that. So, jumping right in, uh, we'll just start off with the very beginning. What do you spawn off? What do you spawn with? So, you guys know the basic things you spawn off with in Jujutsu Craft. You have your uniform, your legs, your boots, and your inset. You can do this, and you have your crystal change, which lets you select the first technique. Well, what does Jujutsu Kaisen Ultimate adds? Well, it adds four new spawn items. You have your clan changer, your race changer, and your jujutsu registry, sorry I'm tired, and a random curse technique changer. Now uh, we'll, I'll go over each one of these and the different things that it uh, adds and different changes to uh, the mod. So firstly going over clans, Jujutsu Kaisen Ultimate adds a great clan system. That lets you switch between different clans like Zenin or the other different uh, clans and stuff like that. Your race changer lets you swap between, lets you change your race. This lets you choose from a Jujutsu Sorcerer, a Cursed Spirit, and an Incarnated Sorcerer. And each one of those different races have different uh, buffs. Now also there's something else. There's also different traits that gives you different bonuses. Think of those as like a random, like, like birth traits. Like you might be talented at something or you're good at this or you're good at something else. Now, the thing that lets you see all of these, as long as, uh, along with your um, grade, is your Jujutsu Registry. This displays your information. You can right-click it, and it tells you all of your information. Your power, your clan, your sub-race, your curse level, your RCT mastery, your curse technique mastery, your fame, your trait, and your team. As you see right here, I got the trait strong. This gives me a plus one in damage. There are one, two, three, four, five, six traits total. So let's discuss what the different clans are. So the different clans that there are in Jujutsu Kaisen Ultimate is pretty much almost every character has their own clan and their own buffs with it. If I were to show you guys just a second here, uh, you can see there is a Trello for Jujutsu Kaisen Ultimate, which displays all the information right here, which is I very much appreciate. It makes it easier and I like have like exact numbers for things so it's very very uh, uh very very appreciative that they have this so just going over the uh clans like I was talking about you have Itadori you have the common clan you have Ghetto, Fushigiro, Kashimo, Zenin, Tsukumo, Kokotsu, Hakari, Gojo Sukuna, Kajaku, Inumaki, Abe, Fujiwara, Sugiwara, Higuruma, Iruume, and Rejected Zenin each clan has different buffs. Isidori gives you black flashes. The common clan gives passive healing. Additional armor attribute enhancing defensive capabilities. So you see that each one of the different clans have different buffs. And the way that you uh, select the clan is, again, with the clan changer. 
you just right click it and it gives you three slots and you can re-roll and also check your clan so i'm gonna re-roll and boom my clan is kashima that's a kashima clan uh just checking what that does the kashima clan gives me i inflict weakness and slowness effects on targets upon hit every hit from attack will give a speed effect which increases depending on on the amounts of hits landed so now that is pretty sick you basically be, you, can, you basically become a speed demon with Kashima. You also slow people on hits. That's a pretty sick uh, clan, and I do like the clan addition. It uh, helps give some variety to characters. So, like each person, like if you're in a server, for example, each uh, person has their own clan, their own abilities. So everybody's like slightly different. It's the way more originality. And as you saw up there, I think if you were to acquire a second clan registry, a clan a changer, I mean, you can check your clan. You could store it. Yeah. If you happen to get a second one, you can store it, and then you can re-roll for other uh, clans as well. And then if you find another one, you can equip the previous clan that you rolled. I'm going to assume some clans are rarer than others. Like the Gojo Sukuna clan is going to be rarer than, like, I don't know, like, Yudas or Yujis or something like that. So going on to races, they introduce your Sorcerer, Cursed Spirit, and Incarnated Sorcerer. As you saw before with clans, each one of these gives you a different buff. Introduce your Sorcerer. Uh, find it easier to learn specific techniques within the game world. They benefit from passive curse energy regeneration. Curse spirits have passive health regeneration, the potency which scales based on the grades within the game. And they also exhibit passive curse energy regeneration as well. So that makes sense. As a curse spirit, you have the uh, your curse energy just heals you. You don't need to do a uh, reverse curse technique. So that makes sense. And finally, incarnated sorcerers, people like uh, Ureume, Akashimo, Higuruma. Technically, even uh, Choso counts. Well, Choso should count as an incarnated sorcerer, but I don't know if it counts in here. In the manga, he is. He's not a sorcerer, but you, you, you know what I mean. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean. The stronger attribute, the curse and generation is in correlation with the damage they inflict on opponents. See, yeah, this is definitely reference to the Cullen games, where you have to fight to survive. Alright, uh, I might sound a little bit different. If you guys have seen my community post, the second part of this recording got corrupt so i'm re-recording this bit uh just to go over it and uh you know finish up the video so uh i think i believe uh we left out i was talking about the random curse technique uh changer that is tied to the random curse technique the game rules and on that note jujutsu kaisen ultimate adds a ton of game rules if i were just to show you right now see we have all of these game rules that are just added with Jesus Christ and Ultimate. It's an insane amount. I think there's actually some more in the uh, game rules section when you go to create a world. There are so many game rules. There's a Sukuna can get advancements game rule, which I assume will help out if you have Sukuna fingers and you're uh, eating Sukuna fingers. That would help out there. So uh, yeah, there's a, they added a lot of game rules. Now back to showing a registry. Uh, as you see, the many different things it displays. We went over this a bit earlier. It shows my power, clan, sub race curse level your curse level goes up when you i believe defeat uh cursed spirits or sorcerers it's kind of like fame but it scales differently i believe so i'm not too sure your rct mastery goes up when you use rct of course and your curse technique mastery goes up the more you use curse techniques now these are tied to different abilities like becoming a special grade one or um getting access to rct mastery if i would show you like the advanced story for example uh higher rct levels and uh, curse levels gives you access to like this stuff and it also gives you access to extension techniques and all that other stuff that's one thing there there's also output level which goes down the more you use moves and it also goes down the more you use rct as well something else that jay's question ultimate adds of course is their key binds and also all of these colors that you see from like the menus and all that stuff is also added with jay's question ultimate jay's question ultimate itself adds a lot of key binds some of these things you don't have to worry about like some of them are just like preferred things like domain expansion is nice domain type can switch between uh burialist and compressed that's another thing jay's question ultimate adds burialist and compressed domains for every single curse technique and they look amazing i was playing around with Choso the other day in it and I love the look of his. Here you can see all of the different uh key binds that are added. Now I just want to say my apologies to the uh creators of Juice Cast Ultimate. I forgot if there's like one creator or most people worked on it, but my apologies to them. This might not be the video you were uh, hoping from, hoping to get from me, but again, this is just my starting outlooks for Juice Cast Ultimate. So as I get more comfortable with the mod and things like that, I'll be able to give more in-depth uh videos about it i think i actually might do a playthrough i'm thinking of doing a, a semi like playthrough it's not gonna be a full one but it's gonna be a uh, progression uh with uh yuji because yuji has a lot of different things that he can progress with in this mod yeah i know that i'm mainly just yapping and all that stuff 
also another thing since i am very new to this add-on and i don't know much i'm gonna need your guys's help in the comments if you have something that you want me to show off for jujutsu kaisen ultimate or you have a correction or anything like that leave it in the comments if you see a comment like that make sure to leave a like so i can see it i need all the help i can get when it comes to showcasing this add-on now that's gonna be it for all the jujutsu kaisen uh, ultimate stuff i had a few little updates uh or like a little not even announced but just a little things that i want to share at the end of this video i have a q a that's going to be my next video the where you can you can leave your questions on this community post that i'm showing on screen right now at this community post you can leave your questions down there either about jesus guys and gt2 or about the channel of myself i know a lot of people ask well oh, why is that your avatar or something like that so if you have any questions about something like that then you can leave it uh down below there all right that's gonna be all I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to like, comment, and sub. And share the video with a loved one. And I'll see you guys next time.